What's up guys? Welcome to your 90th Android tutorial for the new Boston. And what I'm doing right now, I'm just finishing setting up some of those variables. Um, so we're going to do that quickly. Uh, the two variables we, we want to be able to use for a whole class is a web view and uh, also the URL. So um, basically our web view, what do we label that as? Our browser. So make sure those are variables we can use throughout our whole class. And then again, I set up the edit text. Um, this is going to be basically the URL. If you type that in, we're going to allow that to use um, that URL. And then also, I set up all of our buttons with the references, and I set all the on click listeners, and I implemented again the on click listener up here, and set up just the standard switching case that we're familiar with. Um, so, what we're going to do is we're going to get into some of the methods that we can use with this web view. So far, the only method we have is loading a URL from default. Um, but we're also going to allow all these buttons to actually do something. That's what we're basically um, going to establish in this tutorial. Pretty simple stuff for the most part. Nothing too complicated. Um, it's going to be pretty, um, like I said, pretty simple here. So let's get into it. Um, I just we're going to just kind of do some of the methods with this go button. So basically, the first thing that we're going to do is we have our edit text right so they can type in a URL and then once we hit the go button it's just gonna create um, basically just the, the website we want within our web view so first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna use our edit text which we called URL at least I called URL we're gonna say set this equal to um, our URL dot or actually let's start a new string we're gonna say string and we're gonna say the website something like that this is going to be equal to our URL, which is our edit text. We're going to say again, get text, and then we're going to say to string. So that's kind of a review, but basically we're creating a string that's going to be whatever is in our edit text. Then we're going to say, um, basically again, uh, our web view. So we're going to say our brow, which is our web view, and we're going to say dot um, load URL, and then we're just going to load that string that we set up, so the website. So, so far, nothing new for the most part. But now we're just allowing people to type in their own, basically, web URL that they want to go to, and then we're going to, you know, go to that URL. So nothing, nothing new there, nothing complicated. Um, basically, once we use our browser or web view a few times, we can have, we store some of that data. So we can use a back button to go to the previous website, a forward button to go to the next website. And what we can use is uh, a method called we're going to use this on our web web view so we're going to say our brow and then we can say um, like for example since this is the back button we can say go back pretty simple method pretty easy to remember because we want to go back and uh, let's say for example right when our application starts it's going to load my website mybringback.com but let's say there's no you know no previous history so there's nothing to go back to so we're going to set up a simple if statement and what we're going to say is we're going to say um, web or our brow again, which is our web view. And then we're going to say a method. Uh, this is Boolean, so it's going to be true or false. So we can say can, oops, can go back. So that's going to be like, hey, can we go back? And if we can, then we're going to do this line of code, which will go back. And that's going to be kind of the same layout for go forward as well. So we're just going to copy and paste that. Instead of saying can go forward, back we're gonna say dot can go forward so again that's boolean checking if it's true or false and if it's true we're gonna make it uh, our web view go forward and can you guess the method it's called go forward pretty simple again um, but again these are just some of the methods that we can use for web view now the refresh we're gonna again say something like our brow again referring to our web view and we're just gonna simply just go dot uh, reload so it's not actually refresh but it's reload um, still pretty easy method to remember and that's just gonna reload the website and then for example if we want to clear history so we go through 10 websites and we want to clear the history so our go back button won't work anymore um, to do that we're gonna say our brow and then dot uh, clear history so that one's pretty easy as well. 
And those are the simple methods that I want to teach you guys in this lesson. Um, we can run it or save it. Let's see, I'm getting an error. Just got to finish off that statement there. And uh, we can run this and it'll work. But uh, I want to show you one of the problems that we're going to solve in the next tutorial. All right, so we're going to go down to our simple browser application and it's going to load up again my bring back. And the only thing, well, this isn't the problem that we're going to solve, but for example, if you just said www. it's not going to work. You have to do the http forward slash forward slash www. Uh, the new Boston or something like that dot com. And then we just hit our go button and it's going to load up that website as you can see here. And uh, so that's pretty neat. And then um, if we hit the go back button, it's going to go back to my bring back, go forward, go back, um, and then ref or clear history. Then we try and go forward again. It's not going to allow us because it cleared all the history. Now here's the problem that we're going to solve in the next tutorial. Let's say I want to click on one of the links, like blog, for my website. It opens up a new intent and it uses the browser intent that's built in with Android. So we want to get rid of that for the most part. Um, I mean, we don't necessarily want to, but we're going to because we want to have our browser kind of do everything. Um, so it reloads in this um, web view. So I'll catch you guys in that tutorial and have a good one.